I want to lambast them myself. Um, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I resisted for ages. It's been like Hugh Laurie. You know, Hugh Laurie's been on Twitter a few months. And I, I follow him now. It's really worthwhile. And he posts some fantastic messages. Um, but like, probably like Hugh Laurie, I was a bit suspicious of it. But now I'm not. But a bit like these conventions, I was hugely suspicious of these now. Conventions for years, and then did one. I realized it was such a thing. So. It I'm just a kind of doubt, I'm a doubter, I mean, I'm a skeptic. It takes me a while to get a plan. Well, I would say the groupies alone would keep me coming out. <laughs> groupies? Groupies? No groupies? Dudes, seriously. Woo! You. <laughs> I get some strange messages. That is crazy. <laughs> I do get some strange messages. Some kind of argument. I get the odd marriage proposal. <laughs> um, the odd death threat. <laughs> Seriously, it's part of the course. Yeah, they're out there, too. <laughs> it's, all, uh, it's all rough and tumble. <laughs> it's all bad. Wait, wait to bring the room down, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of McCoy. McCoy tells the story of being in Texas, doing one of these things, and um, they took the Q&A from the floor, and somebody said to him, Mr. McCoy, do you ever worry about being shot? <laughs> and he said, until that moment, it's not something that you'd ever even <laughs> And there's a little like this, this configuration now, and he said, and he had 40 minutes to go, and over the next 40 minutes, he said, he slowly stood, and worked his way around the back of the guy's <laughs> chair that was turned into him. Now I'm here. I'm on my own here, folks. <laughs> That's a true story. I wish he was here to, uh, to verify it. There you go. You'll have to believe me. All right, back, 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 back on topic, I guess. So, Night of the Doctor. So, the thing about Night of the Doctor is it went out um, on its own, when, I should probably have guessed that, it should have gone out in the 22nd, 23rd, whatever the 50th was, uh, the, big, the, the big program. It was going to be, you know, to something like that. But Moffat said he was forced to release it early because it was going to be leaked. So it was just a world of And I've noticed that because a couple of days before I noticed stills, photos from the, of the, the system to come, and, um, and someone had tweeted some dialogue that I said, or the doctor says in the thing. So it was obvious that it's, someone knew it, someone leaked it. Um, I'm off on my birthday for me. Um, and he, um, and, I, and, I to, and he sent me a message saying, look, Quick birthday present, I thought it's going to go out within an hour. <laughs> and this is like 11 in the morning, UK time. So if it doesn't go out now, someone's going to leak it by lunchtime, so away it goes. So, you know, for all of the good things, I don't know, you just can't keep a secret now. It's difficult to keep a secret. You know, when you consider some of the hundreds of people working on these things, it's too tempting, I think, for some technician or some sound guy or whatever. Uh, and they, they just stick it out, they release it. Between the time people get to spoilers, aren't they? Boy. Spoilers. Spoil spoilers. Spoil I've spoiled myself. This is kind of boring, isn't it? Do you know Rick this is not boring? It's that's why it's called the grand ball. <laughs> When I was a kid, I learned some more of those. It was the... I thought, why did I tell you that? Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that, but I don't want to hear it back like a thousand times. But, um... We've been doing our woos. We've been working on our woos. It was the first thing that I ever... I was about six, seven years old, and I remember I had this little girlfriend called Jean. Jean Ralph, where she was then. Fifty years later. And a little gold suit. And there was these rooms above the co-op supermarket in Kensington in Liverpool where we lived. And 
you learn to do all the dance. My parents were dancers, I think they must have left, as, you know, as people did in the 50s, on a, on a dance floor. Um, so my mum was keen, but I never, because I was so shy. But, um, but it might be useful. You know. And they gave me a certificate and everything, and I was kind of proud. You know. But Gene chucked me for some big guy. It's a story, a story of my life. It's on the street that seems about to sit through now. Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. No, no, no. no you're, you're basically saying the story of half the guys in this room. So. <laughs> I'm glad of that. But it's good to be able to dance, you know. I, I'm not a... I'm, whatever it was I had then, I've lost it now. I wish I could dance. Now. Really? I wish I had the confidence. Can you ballroom dance? Still? Like, if I pull a lady out of the audience right now who can have a ballroom dance, you think you could ballroom dance with them? You wonder? Who knows how to ballroom dance? Is there a woman here who, who's very good at ballroom dance? I knew I was going to regret saying this. <laughs> Someone's pointing at a blade yeah. right over there. I see her. No? Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll fall over and you'll have to revive me. This way. This way. All right. I don't want to put either of you on the spot. Oh. 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 Denied. <laughs> Poor Tara. Speaking of, of Night of the Doctor, I know with um, things uh, when shorts are produced for the internet, I'm sure they're done almost as quickly, if not quicker, than for television. You know, in your estimation, between the time you got the call from Stephen.